It's been three years since former students of two Catholic boys' schools in B.C. started coming forward. With more than 100 former students now involved, it appears their class action lawsuit is coming to a close. A lawyer for the students says negotiations are ongoing for a process to settle the case outside of court. There will have to be still full disclosure of evidence as to what happened, what the schools knew, about the abuse by the Christian brothers, what measures they took or didn't take to prevent it. Both Vancouver College and St. Thomas More Collegiate say they want to go to a mediator. They say it's an important step for truth and reconciliation. The schools were staffed in part by six men transferred from the Mount Cashel Orphanage between 1975 and 1981. All six were later convicted for abusing kids at the notorious St. John's Orphanage. It's alleged they continued to hurt kids in British Columbia. If the Vancouver case is wrapping soon, it'll be in stark contrast to the Mount Cashel civil case, which has been ongoing for 24 years. Survivors expect to start getting paid soon, but it's been a long wait and not everyone has made it. This man, John Doe 26, told CBC News in 2020 that he hoped to live to see the end of the case. He died a year later. Joe Fiorante says they want to avoid a similar fate. Those, those gentlemen there have been through uh, many trials, many bankruptcy claims, and are still seeking civil justice, um, you know, 50 years later, 60 years later. And that's something that's weighing very heavily on us. Consider the case of Sean Monroe, a man who died one year ago this week. He told his family he was abused at Vancouver College and that he couldn't get over it. He died of complications related to alcoholism. The Vancouver survivors say they don't want to lose anyone else during this process. The schools say if all goes well, barring any delays, they should be able to reach a settlement by year end. Ryan Cook, CBC News, St. John's.